Our combine coverage from Indy continues. We have Lewis Riddick from ESPN. First of all, nice suit, man. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. You know, we just try and try and represent a little bit. I, I think you're doing a good job, man. Yeah. That looks well, really thank good. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Okay, we have an interesting situation at quarterback for the Vikings. You heard about this? Yeah, a little bit, I think. I think you have a couple guys that may be free agents. All right, so before we get to your opinion on what the Vikings should do or could do, mm -hmm. from an organizational standpoint, because you've been in front offices sure. in, with NFL teams, mm -hmm. what's the process here as you come into the offseason with quarterbacks not under contract, coming up for free agency, yeah. and you got free agents and you got draft? Yeah. What What is the organization going through, Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer? Well, the first thing you do is you got to assess what your own roster is and what it's going to look like. Assuming that you had lost, if you were going to lose all of your free agents, what do you have left in the cupboard? How many roster spots do you have already tied up relative to how much cap space you have? How aggressive you could be signing some of your own free agents? You know, trying to determine what the what the hierarchy is by position of the free agents that are available. I mean, it's it's a it's a multifaceted process. So you're really trying to deal in house with what you have and what you need, who you're going to retain, who you're going to let go, and then if you really want to boil it down to the quarterback position, now I mean. Their most important position on the football team has three guys who are, who are capable of walking out the door. So you better have a plan for, one, how you rank them, who do you want to re-sign, how much do you want to allocate towards them. If you can't re-sign them, who do you want to go out and get? Can you afford that guy? If you can't get that guy, how are you going to get one in the draft? They're not in a spot really to pick a quarterback. Could you move up and get one if you need it? There's a n number of different avenues that the Vikings have to really figure out right now. Plus they got other players that they're going to want to sign some right. longer-term right. deals and take care of the defense, make sure those guys stay happy. Look, they got you know, it's funny, with success also comes a lot of responsibility to maintain that success, and they've got some real, real important decisions to make, so they have their work cut out for them. They do, and they come from a position of strength at the same time, a 13-3 sure. and three nice team that, that won their division. Problem. Sure, no, no doubt about that. Look, you're, you're trying to figure out quarterback and figure out how to maintain a roster, knowing that you're going to be pretty darn good next year. But... As Mike Zimmer said, don't screw up the quarterback position. Don't screw that one up. Right. Just get that one right, and, and I'm sure they will. Last one on, on this topic. What would be your preferred flavor if you were, if you were going to be in the room and they, they were like, Lewis, what's, what's your opinion? What should we do? As far as their own quarterbacks? Yep. Look, I'm, I'm a big Case Keenum fan. Now, obviously, what happens is when you have a whole lot of information on a guy, you sometimes overanalyze it. You sometimes don't love the one you're with as much as you should, and you start looking elsewhere going, maybe I could get a little bit better. But by every metric, Case killed it this year. He really did. It's just that now you have to determine whether or not was that a flash in the pan or is this now the new Case Keenum, or is he going to revert back to two, three years ago where people thought he was at best an average backup. Yeah. I think he's turned the corner. Now, obviously, situationally, you have to try and duplicate the same thing you had last year. You can't really do that now, though, can you? Because Pat Shermer's gone. Yeah. So there's a lot of things you have to consider, and then you have to marry all that to, well, what kind of investment do we make in him? Do we go ahead and franchise tag him? Do we transition tag him? Do we not tag him at all? If you don't do anything, I think he's going to walk out the door because other teams are going to look at him and go, well, we don't love the one we're with, and we'd like to try and have that one. So it's, it's a tricky situation, but I would stick with him. All right. Other side of the ball, the Vikings defense, lots of continuity there. Mm -hmm. Mike Zimmer and George Edwards, what makes this defense good? I mean, it, it's, been, it's gotten better every season under yeah. Coach Zimmer and George Edwards since 14. So what do you like about it? Well, they have some absolute just studs on the front, yeah. number one, both inside and outside. Look, Linval Joseph is a beast. Okay, Everson Griffin's one of the best athletes in the league, period. So is Daniil Hunter. At linebacker, Anthony Barr is one of the best athletes in the league. Kendrick's one of the best athletes in the league, and they're good football players. Harrison Smith is a hammer at safety. Now, Xavier Rhodes is a shutdown number one. Do they still have some things they need to improve? Yeah, I think Philly showed you that. You better get some other corners other than Xavier Rhodes who can cover, and Harrison has, has to play better than that than what he played in the, in the NFC Championship game. So even though you're operating from a position of strength, there's plenty where a coach and a GM can go, we're still not quite good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a pretty cool problem to have again. You yep. know you're good, but not quite good enough. But, yeah, that's – I mean, I love that defense, um, personal, personnel-wise, how they're put together, and then fundamentally how they play, which is fast, furious. They try to bully people. They try to intimidate you. That's all right up my alley. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, now, everyone else, stay tuned to Vikings.com. Keep watching this combine coverage. Lewis and I are going suit shopping, all right? Oh, you got it, man. Just right. bring your wallet. Thanks for your time. Okay. <laughs>